everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing my TBR for the month of February and I am so excited! So the first book I'm going to start with in this TBR is one I'm going to be buddy reading with uh, the beautiful Mindy books or Mindy She's my friend, she's my booktube friend. Let's give her a lot of support so she can come back to booktube because I've been waiting for her to come back and make videos. But I'm gonna be buddy reading this with her. I love buddy reading with her all the time. I love buddy reading in general. Um, but we will be reading Oryx and Crate by Margaret Atwood. I don't physically have this book yet. I have to go actually to the shop and go get it. I was thinking of doing it on my Kindle, but then the pages might be off between me and her, so I don't know how we're gonna do that. So I'm gonna go ahead and get a physical copy, I think. I don't know. Uh, but I'm really excited to read this. I'm excited to read more Margaret Atwood, and I'm excited to do a buddy read with Mindy because I love doing buddy reads with Mindy! And I don't know what this book is about, so... If you're new to my channel, which I know a lot of you are, which thank you, thank you for subscribing. Um, I don't normally know what the synopsis is to the book I'm going to read because I don't like having expectations on a book to be good and then it not be good. So I usually put that on myself with the author. I don't need the synopsis to hype me up or anything like that. But sometimes I do read the synopsis to a point, um, especially since some synopsises, like the one for Red Rising literally tells you a lot. It pretty much spoils a big part of the story, so I just kind of refuse to read the synopsis. So if pe people just tell me pretty much what it's kind of about, I will go ahead and pick it up myself, but yeah, anyway. The next book I'm going to be reading this month is Solace by Gail Carriger, right? Is that how you say your name? Yes. Uh, so this is the first book in the Parasol Protectorate series. Um, I don't normally read books like this. I shouldn't say that. I read books like this all the time because I like like fun campy things a lot but this is seems to be right up my alley because it doesn't seem to be as campy as let's say a Stucky Stackhouse novel but it does seem to have the right amount of camp like Buffy and True Blood does so I'm really excited to get into this and if uh, you can't tell by my description as to what it is it's basically like a vampire werewolf novel. I think there's even zombies in it. I don't quite know, but I know that a lot of people that I respect here on booktube and I love their book choices and we kind of have the similar taste in books. They've read this series and they love the series so 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 much. So I went ahead and picked it up on my Kindle. I'm about 20 something pages in and I'm having a lot of fun. I'm excited about finishing this book and seeing if I wanted to pick up the rest of the series. Which from the reviews I've seen about this book, I will most likely read all of the series in this month. So hopefully I will get, I will just be able to read all the other books that I have set for myself. But I'm really excited to read this because I haven't read something this campy in a very long time. It's usually just been very serious books. But it's nice to read things that are a little more lighthearted, I guess. So let's, so that's a thing. I'm excited about this. The next book I'm going to be reading is a book that's going to be turned into a movie by the end of this year, and it is called The Mortal Engine, or Engines. Uh, but it is a mid middle grade book, I believe. Um, and it is about how these cities are now mobile and they drive around the earth and they swallow up tiny towns and shit like that and I thought that sounded really cool. The trailer looked really good. My best friend read this book and he thoroughly enjoyed it and suggested that I go ahead and read it. So I'm going to put this into my New Year's resolution pocket and say that this is going to be the series that I've never basically heard of or decided or never read before um, that is an older series. So. Hopefully I can finish up this series. Um, I also have a few other ones up my sleeve, but I'm not quite sure if I'm going to be liking them, but I think this is going to be the first series that I commit to to finish reading by the end of this year. That's a new series that is completed that I can finish. The next book I'm going to be reading is another audiobook, and it is called The Disaster Artist. And if you guys know, this is a movie that's out now, but it's also a book based on the movie The Room, which is what the, the book is what the movie The Disaster Artist is based off of not yeah so I'm excited to read this I really enjoyed the room I enjoyed the disaster artist so I'm gonna hopefully enjoy this book um, I'm really excited about it I heard that there's a lot of things that happen in this book that's over the top and insane that doesn't happen in the movie that I kind of wish they would have put in the movie so there's that if you haven't seen the disaster artist I highly recommend you watch it if you have not if you are a fan of the room 
If you are a fan of The Room, I suggest you watch The, the Disaster Artist. If you are not a fan of The Room, then don't worry about it, but I'm really excited to read this book. This is a really big TBR, which normally my TBRs are one or two, three books, but I like to this month put a bunch of them in there just so it's out in the ether that I want to read a lot of books this, mo this month, and I hopefully will because I'm going to be traveling a lot, so hopefully I will have a lot of time to read. The next book I'm going to be reading is Binti by Neti Okorafor. Neti Okorafor. I, I'm, I suck at pronunciation, but it's this beautiful cover right here. I'm so excited to read this, like really excited. I've been dying to read this since it came out back in 2015 or whenever the hell it came out and it won um, a bunch of awards and stuff like that and I was dying to read it but for some reason I never did. And what's cool about this is that it is also a short story and apparently it's a series of short stories so I'm actually kind of like pretty excited that I will probably be reading the Binti short stories throughout the month. Uh, hopefully I will give you guys a review of the entire series by the end of the month um, because I think the third book is either coming out or just came out. I'm not quite sure but I'm going to be reading these in between all of the other things I'm going to be reading so I'm really excited because um, short, I'm telling you short stories are where it's at right now for me. I feel like there's a lot of really fun things in short stories that I didn't notice before. Like I never really was a short story novella reader and now I'm just like all about it. So give me your short stories to read, please, because I will probably read it. The next book I'm going to be reading is one that I physically owned forever, but one that I thought I finished reading or read at all and I just realized I didn't read it and it's Ancillary Mercy, the third book in the Ancillary Justice series, I believe is what they call it. I don't know why I didn't read this book. I bought this the day it came out and I thought I read it. I even have the audiobook and I thought I read this and I did not. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm in awe of myself. The next book I'm going to be reading is one that I physically owned forever, but one that I thought I finished reading or read at all and I just realized I didn't read it and it's Ancillary Mercy, the third book in the Ancillary Justice series, I believe is what they call it. I bought this the day it came out and I thought I read it. I even have the audiobook. So hopefully I can read this book along with all the other millions of books I'm talking about reading. But since this month went so smoothly, I think I'll be able to read a lot of books. But yeah, I'm really excited. This is the end of the trilogy of Breck and everybody, but I'm gonna be, I'm so excited to finish the series. Like you guys have no idea. It's one of my favorite series of all time. And it's a really interesting series in general. I'm going to link the book review I did for the first book right here. I did it a million years ago, like four years ago. So you guys can check that out right here. The next two books I know I'm probably not gonna get to, but I want to put them out there anyway because I physically own them and I promised myself I would physically be reading a bunch of books as well and I own these and I don't have the audiobooks for these so I know that I'm going to have to physically read these. Since I own them, might as well read them. So the first one I'm going to be reading is, or hopefully reading, getting to, is Legion and the Emperor's Soul and this is a Brandon Sanderson book and these are two short stories. I thought that it was just one book. But apparently not. So since I'm into short stories, I will hopefully get to this book really quickly. Um, I want to start picking up my fantasy books again, so I think that this would be a really nice like, transition into the fantasy realm because I am so stuck in my science fiction right now. All I want to do is read science fiction forever and ever and ever because it's so great. And I haven't really picked up anything fantasy-wise. Like, maybe the vampire book would be fantasy that I'm reading, Soulless. Like, Maybe that would be, but I don't know. But yeah, I just want to pick up, start picking up more of my fantasies so I can start picking up my big fantasy series that I own. So hopefully this will kick start my wanting to read some fantasy books. Um, again, I don't know if I'm going to get to this, but I do own it and I think I probably will read it because it's short stories and I feel like I'm really enjoying reading short stories this month. So the next and final book I know I'm probably not going to get to but I'm going to put it out there anyway is The Dangerous Type. This is by Lauren Rhodes. Um, I've had this book forever. It's in my TBR. I was actually going to give it away but then I was like no I can probably read it so I'm going to have it on my desk next to my bed. I don't know if I'm going to get to this book. That is the only thing I can say right now but I hopefully will get to it and will enjoy it. Um, I'm really excited about this. It's about like a killing machine assassin that was freed 
and she's trying to get revenge or some shit, I don't know, but it just sounds like a fun book and I own it, so might as well give it a whirl. I'm sorry, I'm the worst with descriptions of books because again, I don't like to really read into them, but my friend recommended this book to me a long time ago and told me to buy it and I bought it and it's just been sitting on my shelf ever since, so I guess I should go ahead and read it. So I'm gonna just leave it next to my bed to see if I pick it up or not because yeah. So I hope you guys enjoyed my TBR. I know that's a lot of books um, now that I'm thinking about it, but I, a lot of them are an audiobook, like two or three of them are an audiobook. Some of them are short stories and what, like one of them is seems like a really fast paced, cutesy little fantasy book that I'm gonna be reading and the other ones are short, more short stories. So I'm pretty much just reading a bunch of short stories. I'm really excited. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you liked it, give me a thumbs up. Let me know what you're reading this month in the comments below. And subscribe to my channel for more videos just like this. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!